Okay, it happens to be uh, Saturday afternoon, uh, August the 24th, 2013. Wow, wow, summer is definitely... There goes the summer. Summer. It's getting dark at 8 o'clock. Th there's no more hot fun in the summertime. No, I can't take like it. Like the song, you know, uh, uh, summer's coming to a close. And, uh, you know, close as in closing, not the clothes on our back. And uh, it, it, fall is slowly creeping up on us, and before you know it, Labor Day weekend is around the corner. But the, there's a... Uh, the unofficial ending of summer, which means uh, the rip-off Jersey Shore beaches will be closing. There's a good point to all this, though. The changing of the seasons? It will be pumpkin pie season. Very soon. I love pumpkin pie when they don't go too heavy on the spices. When they go well, light... I don't like them going heavy on the sugar. No, I don't like I don't like that too. My my sister made a sugar free, uh, uh, light on the spices. Pumpkin pie, uh, and she used stevia. She did she did this last Thanksgiving, and it came out pretty good. She uh, home baked, <laughs> but uh, before you know it, after all this time, people are bitching and moaning about the heat. I can't take the heat and humidity. I'm one of them. The heat Pretty what, soon they, we'll be complaining about the cold and the freezing. Right. When November comes around and the winter, they'll be complaining about that. And this, if we have ice and snow and the cold, oh, I can't take the cold. The car don't start. I'm yeah, dead. right. right my, my battery's dead. The older uh, for the older cars. Oh, I can't. Oh, I'm, so, I'm snowbound. I'm bored. I got the winter blues. And now, now they're crying about heat waves. Then, then next they're going to be crying about the winter. And uh, you know that lim remember that limerick. When the weather is hot and sticky, that's no time for Duncan Dicky. But when the frost is on the pumpkin, that's the time for Dicky Duncan. Uh -huh. Well, you need that one. Speaking of Dicky Duncan, you need that one. The Blackthorn Shillelagh importer from Ireland is back. Oh God! And the and the uh, the deer antlers have been retired. <laughs> For now, right. are they up on a wall? They need to be up on a wall. They're they're hanging on on the door, um, on the coat hanger. The coat hanger hooks on one of my doors, oh. so I throw so certain garments over the horns, to, to which makes them additional clothes hangers. Clothes rack. Rack. There you go. Yeah, a rack. Used to call it's, it back in the day. It's a rack. You, uh, horns use as a rack. A rack becomes a rack. We used to have clothes trees in the old Many days. racks are very positive, like a rack of barbecued spare ribs. Rack of lamb. Rack of lamb, baby back ribs. Rack of crown A, a large breasted woman is considered to have a big rack. Or I like to say jugs. Oh, jeez. Oh, I gotta formally do my thing, man. Before I read, um, <coughs> welcome everyone. Welcome to Progressive Discussions. Yes, another week has flown by. This is Progressive Discussions, and we are coming to you from the Newsletter Censored Research Center in Northeastern New Jersey. I, I am your host, James P. Madonna, and I will formally pipe aboard my co host and mentor, and the very founder of Newsletter Censored in 1977 with my official bosun's whistle. <whistles> Arr, ahoy matey and welcome aboard our progressive liberal starship, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. How you feeling this week? Make it so. Make it so. <laughs> You're stuck on that phrase. Captain Picard. Make it Make so. It so. Yeah. Well, of course, of course, the 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 massive um, mainstream out there is more concerned about watch, watching stupid things on the internet, really dumb, mindless things, instead of learning something like on our shows. But you know, like P.T. Barnum, Barnum once said, the the show 
the, the real show that, that's going to educate your mind and, and get you prepared for the worst that's yet to come. That's the important thing that you should be watching and absorbing. Not worrying about all the uh, those freakazoid reality shows with, the, with all these dysfunctional people on TV now. Your honey boo-boos and, uh, and they're all the rest of them, you know? She's no Shirley Temple, that's for sure. Uh, okay, let me get to it, because I got a lot to read. Um, number one, fracking requires 4.4 million gallons of fresh water mm -hmm. for each well that happens to be in the region. 4.4 uh, million gallons of fresh water that could be used for positive things instead of polluting and destroying the earth. Well, the water ends up polluted. Huh? After use, the water ends up polluted. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Fracking? It's, it's really a shame what they're doing to our planet for the sake of profit. But hey, we got a Republican Congress that you, you idiot red state Bible Belt rednecks voted in. So, you know, profit before the planet and profit before people. Well, you know, you don't care. You just got to follow your cult. Hey, 40 times they tried to repeal Obamacare. Come on, they're doing their job, aren't they? Uh, you mean repealing? Not yeah. working, not working, repealing. Yeah, they, they, 40 times they tried to right. repeal Obamacare. And they're on another five-week vacation. <laughs> you might as well say they took the entire summer off. You know, you might as well say that. You might well, as well hey, say they take the whole year off. When when fall and winter comes, they can afford to go somewhere tropical, so they will, in fact, take the whole year off and just repeal. Ah! <laughs> Maybe ragweed season's coming, or it could be dust mites. Uh, yeah, repeal instead of work. They're repealicons, repealicans, not pelicans. Although a pelican has more intelligence than a than a Next, Halliburton patented fracking. Speaking of fracking, Halliburton patented fracking. Uh, Remember, no, Halliburton is a corrupt company. Yeah, well, Monsanto... Monsanto it, is a corrupt company. They don't do anything positive in the world. <laughs> but they are corrupt. Right. Well, I let mean me, legally. Yeah. They are corrupt legally. They have been... They have been caught with their hands in the cookie jars many times. Yeah. Okay? And to get what they want, they bribe, they do all kinds of corrupt things. Well, they, they buy their way, they get their way by buying yeah. to get their way. The company should not exist. They grease palms and the palms are right out there with no problem to get greased. And I'm talking about you conservatives and blue dog Democrat which are conservatives in Washington. You're, you're, you're not too shy about laying the hand out that's about to get greased. All right, Halliburton patented fracking, knowing it would damage the earth and pollute the water. Well, they must be smart enough to know that. Well, they know it. They know it. Dick Cheney and G.W. Bush made sure it was unregulated, naturally. Then Bush bought the biggest aquifer on the planet in South America. They will sell us water along with his friend, the CEO of Nestle, who says we have no right to drinking water anyway. Well, isn't it amazing that G.W. Bush is really not totally retired and out of the picture? Bush and Cheney. See, I didn't. Even, I didn't know he was involved with this buying the biggest aquifer on the planet, and and that he was friends with the uh, the CEO of Nestle, the guy who plays God, and says we don't have a right to drinking water. Now, do you see the whole tie-in, fracking? Okay, uh, I guess fracking between fracking. The damage and pollution of fracking and the fact that the conservative greedy elitists want to own and control the world's drinking water supply, this like puts you in, that makes you the ultimate victim of evil capitalism. There's no options. Oh, I need water to survive. Oh, but 
the greedy bastards, the elitists, they own the water or they own the food. They own the government. They own the government. I have no choice but to be a victim mm -hmm. of these conservative elitists. There's no way out. It's a, it's a, what is it, catch-22? Done deal. It's a done deal. Yeah, so that's a, just a little, a little enlightenment here. Okay, next. For every person who dies in a terrorist attack, 58 people in the United States die due to lack of health care. Mm -hmm. Well, that's self-explanatory. What a contract. Yeah. That's well, it's the same thing that the more people die of prescription drugs than illegal drugs. Yes, sir. Same thing with um, vitamins. More people die of aspirin than die of vitamins. I've never heard of any, any well, case. it's hard to find, that's for sure. It's damn hard to find yeah. uh, somebody dying of an overdose of a vitamin or mineral. Extremely hard to find. It's like voter fraud. It's very hard to find. Yeah, exactly. But hey, we need IDs and we need this, that, and the other thing to prevent voter fraud. Uh, oh, yeah. And and the conservatives are suppressing the, the uh, poor minority vote in certain segments of the population from voting so because they know they're going to vote Democrat. Yeah, because they, they, they have to, because they, they cannot give us policies that the normal people would applaud, first off. Yeah. So they have to win, and that is what they want, yeah. win. It's all about winning. Yeah. Well, that's why they we... They have uh, to win by cheating. We always, we always wonder, scratch our heads and or scratch our asses and wonder why on earth would a lower middle class or a middle class uh, American vote for a Republican since they do not have their best interest at, at all, at heart. Right. And we, we've come to the conclusion that these, these uh, low income people happen to live in the so-called rural Bible Belt parts of the country. Red states. Red and they states. have this idea that Republicans are closer to God than Democrats. And that's how they do yeah. it. Yeah, because that, like that thirty five percent of the base. Because they're they're pro uh, life and they're uh, they they hate gays, they're, well, they're anti not pro life. At oh, all. Well, they like killing innocent kids out in the Middle East with with with, with drones. And they don't mind killing them. And they don't want you to kill the fetus, but when the child is born, to hell with him. To hell with you. Who they, cares? They don't care if you're born. We'll cut his friggin' food stamps. Yeah, and, that, and that's who though. you're gonna hurt. You're gonna hurt poor kids. You're gonna hurt poor children. Right, that's what I'm Number saying. one. Yeah. Oh yeah. They're, they're, they're not pro. -life. They're not pro life. No. Yeah. They're pro profit. That's what they're pro. Okay. Here we go. Monsanto. Speak of the devil. Monsanto can sue farmers when GMO contamination goes over 1% of their crop. Yeah, when it blows over into their field. And they find out you're in big trouble. Uh, right? What a racket. Yeah. Hey, the wind did it. Mother Nature, it's not my fault your poison contaminated my crop. Oh, well, you got, you got a, a toxic contaminated farm and I, we're going to sue you. And you try to come with your stupid one lawyer even if you can afford them, against our, you know, load of lawyers. Yeah. You're a loser, boy. Yeah, the, you're a loser. The farm is going to come in with Eddie Arnold in uh, Green Acres. He was a lawyer. Yeah. 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 Forget about Mr. it. Mr. Douglas. Mr. Douglas. Well, that was uh, Mr. That was Mr. You know Heaney, the, the uh, Flam Man, you right? You know the statue of justice with the, the, the scales? Yeah. And the blindfold? Yes. Yeah, she's not blindfolded. Not anymore. She's got the one eye over there winking at the corporation. Come on, man! That's cute, man. Some some artist should do a caricature of that. It would be nice. The the scales of justice, Lady Justice, with one eye wink, winking over in the corner, and, and you see a bunch of uh, fat guys with top hats like the Monopoly man, like the J.P. Morgan, you see a bunch of fat cats. You know, with the monocle and everything. If you want true justice, the courts have to be free. Yeah. 
Okay, next. Oh boy. Conservatives like high unemployment because, number one, it keeps wages down. Number two, it keeps stock prices up. And number three, it keeps most people economically fearful and financially insecure. And this this <laughs> this was stated by Mr. Reich. 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 Robert Reich. Robert Reich. Robert Reich. Brother Reich. But this these things are well known. Just like it's well known that the uh, that, uh, that that cutting the taxes for the rich do not provide jobs. They are not job creators. This is well known, well known, so but they still preach it. So Linda, Linda Lunchbox McMahon was full of shit when she kept on saying job creators, job killers. The, the Democrats, the liberals are job killers. Republicans are job creators. There's only one way to create jobs and that's by demand. You have to have a demand for it and it just so happens that the demand sent all the United States jobs over to mainland China. The demand for for pitiful chicken feed wages and Bangladesh, by the way. Bang well, your what? Well, not banging, banging, oh. banging a girl. No, Bangladesh. They're banging them up the ass with no lubrication. You know, Bangladesh, uh, uh, where the factory uh, caught on fire because it was unsafe to work in. And they have people working for 12, 14 cents an hour. Those corporations who do those things, you know what they're saying? They were in the 40s and the 50s and the 60s and part of the 70s. Corporations didn't make any profits. What? They blame everything on unions. What? You they didn't make profits? No, they, they made a Of course ton they of made profit. profit. Ton of profit. And you know what? Unions just want a decent, uh, um, a, a decent fair wage for 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 people over you know, 30 years a living wage that's all they want the wages have been stagnant they have not moved upward but what has moved upward profits profits, profits. And, and the CEOs well that's where the profits go siphoned up yeah, yeah. they pay the, they pay the uh, CEO <clears throat> more okay. money okay moving along moving along moving along um, jobs are sent overseas. The reason why jobs are sent overseas is so corporations, banks, and stockholders can make huge profits off the backs of non-unionized, uninsured, desperate people living in third world poverty. Profit margins go up. But you see, that's not an issue because profits in America, wages, were tax deductible. So it never had a problem with, pro with profits, wages. But yet that's the excuse for them getting job, you know, shipping jobs overseas. That's their excuse they use. But it's not an excuse because it never was a problem. Wages are tax deductible. Right. Okay. So we have so far Lost we have doing business. So far we have um, Halliburton, uh, Monsanto, Monsanto, Nestle, Nestle. Uh, uh, Bush and Cheney. Whoa. BW. These are all inductees, major inductees into our Chisler's Hall of Shame. Uh, next. Uh, and of course, corporate America for outsourcing. Uh, our special uh, inductee for this week's uh, Chisler's Hall of Shame is the um, clothing company, uh, which are which is international. It, it's usually found in all of the uh, major shopping malls, and this company is called Forever Twenty One. Forever Twenty One is currently making all full-time employees part-time and any any benefits they currently have will be eliminated mm. all this to avoid Obamacare this is a company with no regard of their employees boycott 
Forever 21. Boycott Forever 21, they're using, I think they're using Obamacare as an excuse just to increase their profits and be greedy. I think more U.S. companies are going to pull this stunt, especially retailers, of course. By downsizing. And guess why they can do it? Because they're allowed to. They can. Because there's no regulations against it. it hey, that magic word. Why did Wall Street melt down the economy? World economy. No regulations. You're right. This is what happens when the conservatives, when you vote for conservatives and they deregulate businesses. They're allowed to lie to you, they're allowed to uh, swindle you, cheat, whatever you want to call it, rip you off, uh, price gouge. Mm -hmm. uh, and how Mo about the food? Mo Howard. How about the food? Oh, poison you with food, yeah. kill off the poor slowly with, with, with toxic food in supermarkets. Uh, or fake foods. Fake foods. Oh, speaking of fake, oh, I'm uh, glad you said that word, Dr. Bill. With the uh, black it's tongue, it's going away. The black tongue, because I think I have a, a, a isolated the problem. I think you're turning into a child dog with the black, the Chinese dog with a black tongue. I believe it's the catalase. You're taking the uh, the enzyme catalase, which I'm is not, not taking it lately. Not to be confused with the Lincolnase. Oh. Cattle, catalase, cattle, cattle. Those are the levity bells, people. Anyway, and and the catalase is, is uh, for. Well, we'll see in another week. It, or what so is that for? Taking the gray out of your hair? Yes, I believe the product is adulterated. I believe because it is a. I cannot find it. Let me put it this way. Yeah. I cannot find it in legitimate. The ones I've looked at, anyway legitimate sources of vitamins and etc. But I did find it in catalogs. I found it on the internet, of course. So I'm beginning to think maybe the product is not what it should be cracked up to be and they may be, maybe they are using dyes or something. Okay. Well, I use dyes. This uh, French Canadian... Oh yeah, for your head up on the top. I'm talking about in the body. Oh, okay. There's a French Canadian company had these uh, hair colorings for women at the Dollar Tree. Cost me a buck. It worked. See, voila. Voila. You don't see no more gray in James's head. No gray in hair. So. Well, you know the secret of youth, according to Doctor Oz. A real hot-looking uh, uh, swimsuit model-looking uh, girlfriend. Botox. Oh. Oh, yeah, Dr. Oz, he did a show on um, the secrets to anti-aging and staying young. And the only thing that really came out of his mouth besides hey, eat healthy diet, eat properly, yeah. it's Botox. Balanced diet. Injection. What the hell is a balanced diet? A balanced diet? Botox is what he recommended. <laughs> Come on. He's a shill for Big Pharma. He's, he's against, look, he's all for vaccinations for children that are not his kids, because his kids have not been vaccinated. Did you see what happened in New York? Or I believe it was yesterday, the day before, whatever. They, people were lined up to get the New vaccinations oh. for hepatitis A, because some fruit handler in one of the markets over there in Long Island or Cross something. Cross contamination. You know, so now they all were going to get their shot. Listen, jabronis, jabronis out there. I'm a, I'm a bit of a, I'm actually, I'm an amateur chef, but I'm qualified to run a very successful restaurant because I know my food. And if, if Gordon Ramsay ever screamed in my face, I'd knock his ass out, I wouldn't argue with him, I'd knock his ass out so quick, his head will spin. Who the hell is Gordon Ramsay? He's a, he's a guy who screams at the, uh, at the, at the student chefs. And yells at him and tells him every and nitpicks every little thing. Hey, listen, your rich, pretentious, snooty customers out there—they gotta learn one thing, Jabroni. Good food takes time. If you want it done right, 
Some time is required. Have you, uh, have, have, have you, uh, Let him wait. Have you ever seen Sweet Genius talking about some aloof, elite, uh, you, what was the other word you used? Jabroni? Well, not that, but some descriptive <laughs> term. This guy is a real, you know, phony baloney. He's full of shit. Well, not that. I'm talking about the, the, the look, the act. Uh -oh. The whole aloofness of him. I'm so much greater than you. Oh, uh, uh, Jonathan Harris used to behave that way from Lost in Space. Yes. Oh, exactly. I'm cold and I'm frightened, you bubble headed booby. Yeah, that's I, I heard he was like that in real life. He, he was very arrogant. I, if if you didn't come up, if when he when he was at the Comic Con uh, 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 events, if you didn't come up there and buy his autograph right away, I have no use for you. Get away from me. Get off my phone. <laughs> anyway, who is this man again? I don't know his name. Where is he? he? Where the, is the program? He? Is Sweet Genius. Sweet Genius, and what does he do on this show? He. He has two people competing against each other, and they make sweet confections for him, and then he tastes them, oh. and he chooses a winner. Oh, he's he's a candy tasting expert. Is he fat? No. Does he look like Chris Christie? Bald head, I think. Oh, what a macho head. job! He tastes candy. He's going to be a, a probably a very wealthy and a celebrity, but also diabetic eventually. <laughs> Okay, speaking of fake, I haven't forgotten you said the word fake and phony. I did. The very last part of my monologue, and of course inductee into the Chiseler's Hall of Shame, is this. 76% of all honey sold in the United States is fake. Ah. They have found that it is very much, very much diluted with high fructose corn syrup. Oh, God. Even organic honey sold in health food stores is at least one-third, 33% fake also, and also diluted. No trace of pollen was about found. about Manuka or Tupelo? 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 Tup no, well, no, they're saying honey yeah. is diluted. And they're not, they're not putting it on the label. Oh, gee whiz. High fructose corn syrup. You know why they don't put it on the label? Because the Republicans let them, uh, uh, don't require them to put it on the yeah, label. Yeah, but if they put it on the label, you won't buy it. Well, naturally. Why, we should, we should get screwed and, yes. and, 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 uh, and, eat, and eat unnutritional sugar-laden fake honey? The object uh -oh. of the capitalism that we endorse and love, crooked, etc., is only one, there's only one uh, striving. It's my shillelagh. You buy the product, that's it. Who cares? What's in it, what it does to you, yeah. or whatever. Make it just a, make the, the uh, person who makes it richer. That's make, all. Just make a quick sale. That's, the, make that's it, exactly it. Make a killing and then disappear, just like infomercials. If the infomercial product doesn't work... Guaranteed! 